Welcome to Time and Tide. This is the office as we've never seen it. We've converted the space into a watchmaker's den. And the purpose of that is to go inside the case of Tag Heuer's workhorse movement, the Hoyer 01. Now this is a movement that's designed to be seen from both the dial side and the case back. But there are still some parts the eye can't see. We're going there today. Watchmaking is not something that you could wake up one morning and say, I would like to become a watchmaker. You have to feel it, you have to breathe it, and you must appreciate it. Today, I'm going to highlight some of the key features in the Hoyer 01 that makes this the signature movement of Tag Hoyer. I'm going to focus mainly on the column wheel, and something that is dear to Hoyer is the oscillating pinion. I'm now about to remove the case back, exposing the automatic rotor, the sportiness of motor racing. The Hoyo One's rotor resembles the steering wheel of a sports car with a three in 360 degrees formation. The, co the column wheel with the red colouring highlights the critical point of this chronograph. Also, we can clearly see the escapement, the balance which beats at 28,800 beats per hour. Outside of its protective casing of the Hoyer 01, we now find ourselves close up with the Hoyer 01 mechanical integrated chronograph. I'm now, I'm now going to remove the rotor, exposing the column wheel I am now operating the column wheel. The column wheel in comparison to other activation systems like the cam system is a lot more efficient purely because it reduces the amount of travel time from the moment you depress the push button to the time the actual chronograph is activated. The efficiency is there. Please allow me to take you deeper into the Hoya one movement by removing the chronograph Plate. I would need to undo these three screws and gently remove the plate, exposing the chronograph wheel, minute wheel. This operation requires a lot of calm and composure. Please watch carefully as I lift up the plate. Here you can see the chronograph wheel, the minute counter column wheel and the lever responsible for the oscillating pinion. Before any further work is done, we need, it's most important to disarm the chronograph and I will do that by releasing the tension on the spring. When the column wheel is activated, many levers come into play. I'm now about to expose the famous oscillating pinion patented in 1887 by Edward Hoyer. This concept is used in many chronographs today. Right now you can clearly see the oscillating pinion receiving energy from the main train wheels and when activated comes up against the chronograph wheel to begin recording lapse time. I will now remove the oscillating pinion. I now want to show you the dial side of the Hoyo 01. The striking thing about the dial side of the Hoyo 01 is most certainly the skeleton date disc. Not, not forgetting to mention the, the PVD coating date plate. The manufacturing process of the Hoyo 01 skeleton date disc is of injection molding. I'm now removing the screws that hold down the date plate. The size of the screw heads would be no more than a millimeter and a half. I'm now removing the plate. What we expose here is the date driving wheel, the hour recorder, the hour wheel, course the skeleton date disc. 
It gives me great pride to work on, on movements that have been developed and designed in a way that shows the skill of the watchmaker and the engineering capabilities of today's world. Also what you can see is the setting mechanism and the quick day star wheel. This enables you to quick, day, quick change the date disc. What you may also notice is the jewel held down by two clamps, which we call the Inca block system. The reason for this is a protection system that in the event of the watch receiving an impact, these little arms will fling open and release the jewel to protect the impact on the pivot or the vibration and shock on the pivot. This jewel is there to protect the pivots of the balance wheel. I will now remove the jewel. Once I've removed it, you can see the tip of the balance staff. The next time you have a Hoyer one in your wrist or see one in the store, you are now in a position to imagine and explain to others what you've just seen. I've taken you to different levels of the Hoyo one, highlighting the features and functions of this beautiful movement. Who's to say what's in store from Tag Hoyer with the Hoyo one? What's to come? The Hoyo one is here to live forever. Cheers. That's a wrap.